What's up everybody, this is Virgil, and I'm gonna show you guys some new pieces to my skateboard setup this year. I'm always really stoked when the weather gets better, sunlight's out a lot longer, and it's just time to skate because that's, you know, skateboarding has been something I've been doing for the past 10 plus years, I think. But anyways, um, I'm gonna show you guys a new, uh, new, new pieces to the setup. I'll still be using the same wheels and bearings from the last setup, but I want to buy something new and smaller because the one I had was just heavy and just dead weight and uh, really stoked to find something smaller and lighter. So first up is the deck and this is the Blind Super Saver series. It's a size 7.75 and it's about 31.2 in length. Blind has been one of my favorite companies from Ronnie Krieger to Morgan Smith. Um, really great team and uh, really stoked to have a blind board again. I can't remember the last time I had a blind deck. I think it was, I think it was like 17 maybe when I had a blind. But that's the board, really stoked on that one. And with a skinnier board, you need skinnier trucks. I can't reuse my indies because they're super wide. Um, so I was able to find these ones at a really good price. These are the Paul Rodriguez Venture Pro models. I love the black and blue colorway. Um, and once it gets the silver coming out of the, out of the aluminum, that's when it's gonna look really sick. And uh, these are the hollow light trucks with the uh, hollowed out kingpin. If you can kind of see right there, you can see the, uh, you can kind of see all the way through it. And it's got the hollowed out axle. So you can see the light right there. <coughs> really stoked on that one. And even the base plate, the base plate is really impressive with the, uh, you know, like everything is kind of cut out and there's holes on the side of the, on the walls here. So it's an overall light truck. I've compared it to other trucks at skate shops and these ones just really kick it. It's, you know, really great construction that Venture's done. And I think Venture was the first one to do the whole hollow thing and then other truck companies followed. I could be wrong, but nevertheless, um, the construction of skateboard trucks has come such a long way where they can actually take out metal and still have it functional and still be skatable. So it's really sick and I really can't wait to start grinding with these ones. So that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to all the skaters out there. And for those who wanna take up skateboarding, there's never like, like you're never too old to take it up and you're never too scared. I mean, people always say that they're gonna break their skull. You're not gonna break your skull. Like you're gonna be fine. Just don't longboard. If you're gonna skateboard, don't longboard and don't penny board. You know, those little vinyl cruisers that are like that big, only fits one foot. Take those out of the industry. Get a get like a, a zigzagger from Crooked. Get like a a Crooked uh, Zip Zinger, you know, the smaller ones. Get the a Pool Rider. Get a Powell Peralta. Get one of those legit skateboards. Don't get the penny boards. Don't get the long boards. Just just take those out of the industry entirely. You don't you don't need those. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much uh, gonna do it for the video. Check out my blog at virgiln.blogspot.ca to look at some more random things. Till next time, peace.